Yo, yo, yo. Hello, Crypto World. It's your boy Crypto Rocco here, and today we've got another video for you. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, some of the news that are coming out for Bitcoin, uh, just the cryptocurrency markets, where I see the price going, um, and look at some of the key, new, key news that have affected Bitcoin, like Mt. Gox, GTT Summit, the halving of Bitcoin, the Lightning Network, and um, just go around some of the key news points and uh, see where the price could be going in the near future today's video guys is slightly different usually my videos are very planned today's video is more off the cuff i've got an idea of what i want to talk about but it will be more of like a discussion with you um we'll see how this video goes see how you guys find it if if you guys enjoy it i'll do more videos like this or if not i'll go back to more structured plans uh, videos that i've done about verge litecoin tron um so I'll go back to that kind of format. So Bitcoin is going down. Um, it went up quite a bit uh, from the positive G G20 summit where they said that uh, cryptocurrency is not uh, not a massive risk and uh, there's not going to be regulations coming up for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency. So there was a massive spike there. Um, it has it has gone down with the Japanese crypto <laughs> Japanese news and Bi Japanese Japan and and Binance news has come out that I'll cover in a bit. But yeah, it's just quite difficult, guys. We've got some volume. The price was going up, and then more FUD and news comes out, and it affects the price. Um, according to my trading, guys, I'm I usually huddle, like you all know. I'm a long-term investor, but I do trade. I've got trading experience from forex and stocks. For, I've got years of experience in that, so I like to trade. This is something I really enjoy. Although I don't recommend it unless you've got experience or you're willing to learn technical analysis, how markets work, demand and supply. Um, I had some stop um stop orders. Um, stop loss orders around there because I thought it was going to break some resistance and um, I wanted to get out of the market for a small percentage of my portfolio and um, unfortunately my stop loss order just got hit um, and then the G20 summit news come out um, which yeah I lost some money well I didn't lose money and um, I could have made more money the first news that I'd like to cover is G20 so G20 uh, came out the G20 summit one of the news that came out um, can't remember his name now. I think the bank of governor in in, in England. He said that uh, there's not going to be regulations, um, at the moment. But G20 uh, have still made um calls for crypto regulations recommendations by July, which is good. Regulations should be good. We shouldn't think that regulations are going to be bad. So in July we have some uh, concrete offers, very specific recommendations on what uh. Do we regulate? Do uh, what data we need? Um, so yeah, have a read of these guys. This is quite good. Um, I mean, the ideal world for me, like I've said previously, would be if we could self-regulate um, and kind of come away from all the government and bank regulations um, and kind of embrace the decentralized, this newer uh, way of living working uh, of the financial worlds but i don't know whether it would be possible but let's see how the future plays out that would be my dream goal but maybe this is step in the right direction have some sort of regulations before we move to like self-regulation um yeah this is just some more news coming out where so uh, this is quite a good article where they talk about where each country is again this is just speculation so i'm not going to talk about it in detail um because some countries are a bit more uh, optimistic about uh, cryptocurrency they like uh, cryptocurrency a bit more some some countries are banning it outright some countries are uh, banning icos but still support this technology and i think countries should embrace this technology because the power of blockchain and what this new techno tech new technology can do and the innovation that it can drive so i think countries should support it but every country's got a different um view on cryptocurrency world so i'll let you guys decide so that's the news um the japan to issue warning against crypto exchange binance so that's the fud that's come out um um i'll cover it in a bit but uh, the gist of it is that um binance have come out and said that it's not it's, it, the it's kind of not very good journalism so again it's fud i don't, I don't really want to talk about it it's, i don't think it's a massive news um, we should the G20 news was a big news and this news that's come out has just affected the the price and this is uh, the price is going down and um, I'm sure if you're in the crypto world you've heard of Mt. Gox they are one of the biggest exchanges in, in um, back in the days but it's it's had a massive effect on it. it's still not gone away we're still talking about Mt. Gox in 2018 
2018. Um, they've had hackings in the past, um, in 2014, I believe, um, and they're still having issues. And they've been and one of the main reasons people are speculating for these crashes is Mt. Gox trustee selling uh, about 400 million bitcoins and Bitcoin Cash. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. Some people are saying it has not affected it. I've got some charts showing that why it might not have affected it. I think it has affected it. If if the direct selling didn't affect it, the news of it selling definitely affected the price. So that is my thinking around it. Um, it's still in the news. Like it, the the guys is selling more. Some people are saying he's um sold all of his um all of his coins and now the price can go up. Some people are saying he's got more to sell. Um. So it's just it's just a crazy crazy news. It's difficult to follow it as well. I've I've, tr I've tried to read about it and kind of follow uh, the timeline, but it's difficult to keep track of it. Um, so this is more fud that we don't need. And um, this is what I wanted to talk about. There's a good chart here saying that the amount of uh, BTC sold and the price difference. So in there you can't really see a good correlation. So um that would make you think that it didn't have an effect but i think it definitely did have an effect if not directly it definite indirect correlation in that sense i mean people hear about it and the market reacts um so if the direct selling didn't have an effect the indirect um speculation definitely had an effect on it i mean I don't really, it will take me hours to explain exactly what had happened. I'll let you guys read it if you've got the time. Uh, but good luck trying to find out news and speculation. That's something about the crypto world, guys. Um, the news that we read in the stock markets is difficult, to, what to trust. In crypto world, it's impossible to know what to trust, what's going to happen. I mean, that's something that I enjoy. But again, that's something that's difficult with the with the trading the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market and um, Bitcoin and um, block reward halving. So that would mean that um, if they if they spent in, in simple terms, mining would get a uh, uh, miners would get less reward so if they were getting 12.5, they'll be getting 6.25. So that would make mining less um, profitable that can have negative effects again. There's loads of theory around it. People are saying that if mining is less successful, People might not mine. Price might actually go down. Um, but in the past, price has gone up. And my my thinking around it is uh, there's a good book from Robert Cialdini. He talks about the influences. Um, it's like a sales psychology book. When there's scarcity, so basically what he says is when there's scarcity, the price usually goes up. People want things that are scarce. So this halving would mean less Bitcoin is coming into the market. That might mean that uh, there's a shortage of it or there's some sort of scarcity or people even if it's not that much actual effect the thinking that people's uh, psychology would say oh bitcoin's halving i need to get some more there's not going to be enough bitcoin so i think it will have an effect on the price and previously uh, when it happened in uh, 2012 the price gone up but again you can't really compare that i'm not saying that it's going to go from 10 to a thousand so it's going to go from where we are to a um, hundred thousand you can't compare it like that because market was completely different but because i've said um what i've just talked about the scarcity um i think it can have an um a positive effect on the price so uh, this this goes into a bit more detail of how it works how it'll affect the miners um this is a this is a good article uh, to read right lightning network uh, this will I think this will have a positive effect this is great for the markets really so what is lightning network if you guys don't know it's a system for smart contracts built on top of the base Bitcoin blockchain that allows for fast cheap payments directly between two parties so it's kind of off the chain my I'm trying I'll try to explain it in in, in simple terms it, it happens like off the chain so it, it, it doesn't it's not always on the blockchain until it's confirmed so you can have payments between two parties uh, with using payment channels effectively allows users to transact with each other directly rather than broadcasting their business to the business to the entire world so that will significantly in, in improve transaction speed and also reduce transaction costs so it will definitely have a positive effect one of the negative effects of bitcoin is the mining the energy that we use in mining i'm quite tuned in with the effects um 
of energy power electric electricity that have on the world and um, bitcoin mining uses more energy than some of the biggest countries some of the bigger countries in the world something that i don't like thinking about in africa in 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 asia some poorer countries like bangladesh india there's countries who struggle with power and then people are spending so much money buying uh, mining bitcoin and um, so that's something that i don't like so i mean if you think about it in theory lightning network would have a positive effect on that so let's see what happens but again technological development might mean mining is easier so as we have more powerful computers it's early stage of development and um, I was reading up about IOTA and some of the um, te technological development can have an effect with IOTA it's a project that I'm quite interested in I'm not heavily invested in it as much but it's something that I'm really curious I want to learn more about with Bitcoin as well if they've got better graphics card more powerful computers um, mining could be easier and uh, could have a better and won't have as much ad adverse effect on the world so that can have a positive effect guys um so lightning network they have um launch again this is something that i don't like about the cryptocurrency market and um, this is this should be a great news and it should have a massive positive effect on the bitcoin price but people seem to not talk about it people are talking about price speculation this is actual positive effect that can improve the technology that can help people and um, lightning labs officially released the first beta implementation of lightning network for the bitcoin main net this is big fun, big news guys this is fantastic news um but no one seems to care um it's just i'm i'm probably the, one of the fewer persons talking about it on youtube people are talking about buying lambos and being a millionaire and not talking about the technology guys so again uh, this is <laughs> This is what the cryptocurrency market is about, but at the current, I think it's going in the right direction. I think more people are going to talk about technology once. Um, the in January, December, we had a massive influx of people just buying to buying out of FOMO because the price was going up. But I think um, as the market is consolidating, innovation is going to happen. Real people who care about the technology is going to. Um, keep developing the technology we forget that it's a very new industry we need to give it time to grow and um, again Forbes written some articles about it um segwit lightning network uh, really re have a read about read read of this guys understand how segwit and and the lightning network can have a, have a positive effect on on bitcoin and um, death cross right this is a uh, negative news um, that's going on around Bitcoin. It's basically when the 50-day moving average goes below the 200-day or the 100-day moving average for Bitcoin. So, And this is a very, very a big bearish signal. Um, uh, this is a read, have a read of this on in Investopedia. They will explain it better than I can, and they've got a good video to explain it as well. So if there's higher trading volume during the death cross, it could have a negative impact on uh, the Bitcoin price. Some people are predicting going, forming a double bottom, uh, going, going down to six thousand or even lower to five thousand and four thousand. And um, some people are predicting two thousand. There's a video that I. Um, put on in my last youtube video where um i think it was on cnbc i can't remember or bloomberg's where someone came on and said oh it will go down to 2000 3000 i don't think that i think there is a possibility of a double bottom where it form where it goes back to where it went during february time and um, but i'm not too sure whether it will happen and um, i'm starting to slowly buy into it again i've bought some uh today um Again, I always say gradually buy and I've got enough. Uh, I just hold, I just kept away somewhere. But I like to trade because it's something that I really enjoy. I'm in the cryptocurrency markets. I like to stay up to date with the news and, and it is profitable. So um, I'm not advising to buy or sell. Um, although I've been releasing some tweets, um, uh, some trading tweets on my Twitter. Guys, I don't know if you follow me. It's Rockstar Crypto. Um, just talking about some coins that are kind of consolidating for a while um have a have a look at uh, rockstar crypto i've only started uh, posting on twitter but again i'll leave it up to you guys but one good trading this is not obviously financial advice make your own mind uh, one one of the tra uh, popular uh, trading strategies like gradually buying 
buying in because if you buy in massively at one point and the price crashes you lose a lot of money rather than investing ten thousand pounds in one go if you invest a thousand pound and then two thousand pound even if the market crashes you still kind of not in a bad position the risk is not lower also you um if if you bought ten thousand if you bought bitcoin at six thousand ten thousand worth of bit ten thousand pound worth of bitcoin at six thousand and the price shoots up you'll make more money but there's a more inherent risk and if you are a long-term investor without not as much knowledge of technical analysis i would um definitely say gradually buying rather than a massive um order uh, again they're just talking about the death cross some people are saying it will have a massive negative effect um i'm not too sure the death cross basically guys is um when if the red line goes below the yellow line um there is a possibility that it could happen unless this goes up now there is a possibility that it could go around that level again it's, it's difficult to say guys people are speculating but we are at a critical level this is a decent resistance down here so we'll find out soon whether it goes up or it goes down and if it goes down i think it will go to around that level and um, it will go down to the february level of six thousand potentially um again these are all speculations guys make up your own mind do your research um i do not i don't like sharing my trading view charts because I've always said that I don't want to give technical analysis to people because I sometimes lose money and I'd hate to to uh, lose other people's money. So I don't like sharing it. Maybe in the future I will. Uh, but currently I'm not too keen on sharing uh, trading charts because um, there are people on YouTube without much knowledge sharing technical analysis. And I'm like, mate, what are you doing? Uh, you shouldn't be telling people what to do. There got so there's one guy I can't remember what his name was. He was talking about Ripple being centralized, and I'm like, whoa, Ripple's not that. And there are guys that uh, really don't know anything about the financial markets and and advising people on ICOs and Bitcoin. Um, right. I I always like to finish off with some um positive news. The Twitter CEO Jack he has predicted Bitcoin will become the world's currency. Um, so this is big news he's obviously someone very knowledgeable people respect his opinion and if he if he is predicting that guys it's time to buy bitcoin <laughs> again like guys make up your own mind again he might have reasons for saying that um always like uh, not criticize but critically evaluate why someone might be saying it but i'm a believer in bitcoin and cryptocurrency i'll take it as a positive news but um, if someone like Jack is supporting Bitcoin, that is a positive. Um, again, another article on on Jack, this chief executive of Twitter, um, talking about Bitcoin in a positive light. And finally, Tommy Lee, his prediction, he predicts that it will go to 90k by March 2020. He's not saying it will go to 90k this year. In 2018, he's saying this in 2020, there has been declines in the past. Bitcoin has come back. The market cap of Bitcoin compared to other market caps of stocks is a lot lower. So longer term, Bitcoin will go up. I've, I've again, speculatively said that Bitcoin could be going to 50K this year. Uh, but again, that's just my prediction, guys. I don't, I don't know whether it will happen or not. No one knows. So it's all speculations. We can analyze and do fundamental analysis. But if, if news comes out, news is news always trumps technical analysis. So, yeah, so my prediction would be that. Um, I like to finish on a positive note. Um, Tommy Lee have said that it could go up to 90k by 2020. Um, finally, guys, um, just look at the bit, bit, uh, Bitcoin dominance. This is something quite important that I always uh, look out for. So Bitcoin used to be used to dominate like 80% over 80% dominance, and and the dominance was a lot lower. It was Ethereum. <laughs> And Ripple making a move around July time last year. And again in January time they made a move. And then Bitcoin went up. Uh, but 40% for me is about right for Bitcoin. 40 to 50%. Um, so there could be a rise of alt altcoin bull run. So all the altcoins and smaller coins that are good projects. Not, not bad projects. I'm not saying just invest in any altcoin and you'll make money. Um, 
So I I think Bitcoin will make another um, Bitcoin will grow slightly, and then there might be an altcoin bull run coming in. Again, that depends, but when it comes, but it, there should be one coming in a couple of months time maybe. Um, but I think there are some very very good altcoin projects that could uh, go up to <laughs> go to the moon, guys. That could then um, rise significantly um, uh, mid year or probably second half of the year and um, because currently i think about 40 50 percent is the correct bitcoin dominance level um, and as for bitcoin guys short term i've said um it could go up um to around nine around 9k 10k um around that level um and then it will probably consolidate and um, it's difficult to say guys it could go we're at a key level now it could go around that that level or it could go to around uh, 9 10 12k so you see, i think it will consolidate for a bit longer unless there's some positive news coming out and um, before the money comes in there's some rumors that the tax in april could have an effect and um, i'm not too sure but um, this is a critical level guys i think it might go up to um that 9k 10k level um, and then it could go go back down so this i think it will be trading around this level it could bounce up and bounce down um unless again the death cross there is some risk i don't believe it massively but i still would it will have an impact in my decision whether to buy or not so that was my prediction guys um do your own research do not jump in and um, use your own critical analysis don't just listen to someone on youtube like myself or on twitter and then speak spend all your money and um, invest what you can afford to lose and just educate yourself guys knowledge is the most important thing at the end of the day and um, so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it i'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe to my channel and um, my channel has been growing massively so thank you all and um, i'm hoping to receive get to thousand subscribers soon so when i get to thousand subscribers guys i will be giving away a half a like coin so if you want to win that guys subscribe to my channel and leave com leave comments below and i will see you guys soon uh, in the future thank you very much